know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, you can get there. He can get you down. He can get you anywhere. You can get there and get the guy out. You know what I'm saying? You can. So like that. Anyhow, somebody catches you from the back. What do you do? What do you do? What you can do is this. Keep it in. Sorry. You can keep it in. It. It, that's what I'm telling you. If the guy is tall. He's a bigger target. So when I was learning martial arts, my teacher taught me this very amazing thing. It doesn't matter. So it bought lumbi se aap ganda leke aaiye, aur ek bahut bada sa divar leke aaiye. All right. What you do is aap lumbi lakhre ko lakhre ko mariye. What I mean to say is, big doesn't matter in any direction. You'll be able to hit the wall with the pebble faster, more accurately, but you can't hit that tiny thing. It's not about the size. There are points like this. I won't. I don't want to do it to him. I'm just telling you. For very tall guys, he's a very good-looking, very tall guy. You can get him down like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a joint which you should know. There are the joint is the lovely part. Get him like this, he'll get down. You know what I'm saying? Anything, bones. If he, anything, it breaks in a second like that. You should be aware. Don't want to forget. Anything, you should know. This will break. It will break. This will break. This will break. It breaks. Hit him once. Hit him right. It will break. Hi, Vidhu. Hi, here. There's a question. Hi, Vidhu. How are you? Um, I thought, um, you know, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm sure these tricks are going to come in handy, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be useful. But you know, when uh, you're usually doing martial arts uh, and you're trained uh, like you, you are more confident when you walk on the streets. So what Preeti said, or whatever your other friend said, that then you know probably or they panic and they go blank if they're. Um, if anything happens, it's true because I think in 90% cases you actually cannot be aware because your mind just goes blank. You know, there's somebody in front of you, you're constantly thinking how do I escape out of it is what goes on in your mind in those situations. Um, do you know any calming trick or something for that moment that you can compose yourself because in your head those uh, 10 seconds, all that goes in your head is, I am so not coming out of this. And I'm, you know, I'm not going back home in whatever state I am because that's how it is. You know, it's scary. Um, anything you think, like the, any calming trip, I think composing uh, oneself first is very important than going and trying to defend because, you know, you've lost it there. You know, you've lost the battle because you start panicking. So maybe you can help. Sorry, it was the rain. Actually, it's a lovely question, by the way. So girls, we'll go back to where we started from. Be aware. The thing she's talking about being calm is being aware. I can assure you right now, all the women who go out of this house, this place, will be very sure if a man gets, tries to get the woman, she'll get him down. Do you guys agree? That's only because of awareness. I'd gone from a mathematics examination and I was on the table. My mind went blank. You know why? I hadn't studied for it. This is the education I'm talking about. Be aware of it. If you're aware, you'll be calm. You'll know what to do. Listen, if a guy comes with a gun, you can't say, oh, you know, I'm cool, you cannot shoot me. You won't do that. You'll be aware. If you're aware, you'll be calm. The mathematic examination I failed because I just didn't study. I just didn't know what to do. I was blank. But the next time, three months later when I appeared for it, I was aware of what I have to do. I studied for it. I was aware of what I need to educate myself in. And I excelled in it. Do you agree? It's for awareness. No, please, if you don't, tell me. No, I, I'm just thinking that, you know... Uh, okay. Practice makes you aware of yourself. Like, I've told you about eight body parts. Everybody knows about them because you have those parts, but you know how amazingly sensitive they are. You know, you do anything, you can't develop a muscle over here. That, everybody has equal. You get them like this, it's going to bleed. It's going to discombobulate you. It's going to make you completely confused. You'll bleed, you'll get tears. That's why. But being calm will come with awareness. When Buddha says that, what do you do to be calm? Just be aware of yourself. Please be aware of your body. You've got a superb body and you've got a beautiful soul in it. Please be very aware of it. Uh, with it, anything when your hands or um, let's say your limbs are um, tied or you know are happy. Please don't let anybody tie you, by the way. First thing first, don't get into that situation. 
Yes. Of course. Now I'm just saying, if someone is holding your legs or something, is there any anything that you can do to come out of it, like coming out of those, the you know, when they grab you, um, out of the grab? Is there anything that you can show properly? See, if I don't know what you're talking about, tying the limbs and all that. Don't Not tying, just holding. Like so, for example, like I told you, if somebody gets you, I don't know where he'll get me. Choose him properly. What you can do is be aware. You can't be. You can't be thinking, oh, I'm going to get caught, what No, you have been caught, what you have to do is, do something like that. I don't know, you can hit on the, whatever you find. Be the woman you are, the very strong woman you are. Do anything, but don't be confused. Don't think that he's stronger than you. What you have to think is, you cannot be getting down. Anyhow, anyhow you can't go down. So what you have to do is, get the down, get the guy down. Anyhow, you've got a lot of things. I to get Anyway, anywhere, you've got everything. This is the whole... Anything, you can get anything, move, don't stand there. That's what being aware is.